Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be discussing ear piercings, specifically my newest edition, this lovely cartilage ear piercing here. Hopefully you can see it. So this newest edition here, um, I got a couple of weeks ago, and if you're not following me on Instagram, which you should be, um, I put a post talking about how I got this new piercing, and I called it the industrial piercing, and I had a couple of you asking me some questions, because if you know what industrial piercing is, it can be kind of confusing, because it's not an industrial ear piercing, so. There were enough questions, so I was like, you know what, let's just turn it into a video and get them all answered in one go. So. The first question is, what is an industrial piercing? For you guys who don't know what an industrial ear piercing is, this is what an industrial piercing looks like. I am super excited to have this full and complete look on my own ears. Um, and the reason why it doesn't look like that right now, that's the next question. Why did you only get one side done? Because obviously with the industrial ear piercing, there's two holes for the bar to go through. You got one on this side and one on this side. I <laughs> am not doing that. I think if you talk to most professional ear piercers, they'll tell you that they just do both at the same exact time. I did not want to do both at the same time just because with my previous cartilage ear piercings over on this side, they weren't fun. I mean, they weren't terrible, but it wasn't fun, and so I didn't want two wounds on my ear at the same time. I just, I guess you could say I was a little bit of a scaredy cat, but <laughs> I just wanted one at a time. So with that being said, I am going back to the same shop. I'm gonna ask for the same piercer because he kind of knows what's going on, what I want. But until then, I am just keeping this one clean and helping it heal um, up until then. If you stay to the end of this video, I may or may not have a little bit of vlog type of footage for you guys where I'm actually getting my piercing done. So if you want to see what it looks like and my reaction to the pain that comes with it, stay to the end because at some point I do want to get a little bit more vloggy with you guys. So. This is kind of a little dipping the toes in the water of vlogging, so if you want to see that, that's at the end. Um, so the next question is, does it hurt? Yes. With any piercing, it's going to hurt, and the, how much it hurts is really going to depend on you and where you're getting the piercing. Personally, when it comes to my cartilage piercings, the sensation has been the same with all the piercings. At first, it's going to feel like fire. It feels like your ear is just on Fire where that needle pierces you. I want to say for me it was only for a couple minutes and then after that it just feels like a really bad pinching but it will go away eventually it fades and for me personally with these uh, cartilage piercings it felt sore after the pinching went away it felt really 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 sore my first one I think actually got infected and it was really hard to get clean and healed nicely. It took a while. I was actually really concerned about it. It was my first one, so I was really scared. Uh, but then when I got my second one, it was so much easier. It was a lot less pain. I didn't get any infections, nothing at all. Now with this one, I think I've had it for about two weeks now, and like I can touch it and it barely hurts. If anything, it feels almost itchy. I think that's probably because it's healing, and so I'm just leaving it alone. Uh, the timeline of it, it could be, I don't know, anywhere from six months to a year. I know this one took a long time, this one took quite a while, but this one, I don't know, we'll see. He's doing really good, so we will see how long it takes him to get complete. My next question is, how do you clean your piercings? I know that if you go to get your ears pierced, they typically sell you or give you ear cleaning solution that's like designed to clear your uh, your piercings and stuff like that. But for me personally, I actually just make a sea salt water solution. And that seems to work pretty well. I've not had any problems with it at all. If you look it up online, you can find uh, measurements like water to salt ratios and um, it's cheap, it's quick, it's easy. I use uh, q-tips to clean them and you're gonna want to make sure that you're moving the jewelry around a little bit when you do it because you want to make sure you get that solution inside the piercing because um, you want to make sure you're killing the bacteria and everything in there so it can heal properly. 
Um, I know I, I read somewhere that Q-tips weren't the best to use because the fuzzies could like get stuck in your piercing and cause infections, but I personally have never had a problem with that. Uh, not with Q-tips anyway, so I've always just used Q-tips and a warm sea salt water solution and that for me has always worked just fine. <laughs> the next question is, will you get more? I mean, yes, yes, of course, I want to get so many more piercings. For sure, I'm getting one more over here to complete the industrial ear piercing look. After that, we'll see what uh, direction I wanna take my piercings into, but I definitely want some more. It's always just really exciting for me to have like a project to baby and take care of. Since I do tend to have a high pain, uh, tolerance. It doesn't bother me at all. Alright, so I think that is everything I wanted to cover with you guys in this video today. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Stay tuned for my little vloggy bit of video where you get to see me actually get my ear piercing done. And before you go, please check out my channel and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And until then, I'll see you again in my next video. Bye-bye. Let's get a big deeper thing. Put it out slow.